Hello guys, this is Sean from Korea and today we are going to talk about three topics. First one is 2023 January, IONQ's employee counts and the trends. The second one will be the trapped eons go the distance. And the last one is my stock portfolio. So I want to talk about the topics related to eon traps getting the momentum. So to start off, IONQ's employee number changes as of January 2023. Uh, please mind a few Koreans. IONQ grew up from 2021 January to 2023 January about 200%. So it's growing very fast. And in 2022 December, IONQ had 180 employees registered in LinkedIn. So these are all uh, extracted from LinkedIn data. So there might be more employees uh, working for IONQ. And after one month, on January 2023, there are 188 employees, so 8 people increased and no employees left. So I already confirmed with the company that they are having more than 200 uh, workers. So they exceeded their uh, original goal of getting to 200 on 2022. So I have this term called core talents which refers to people having PhD or people having masters with more than 15 years of experience. So those people I refer to as core talents. So out of 200, IONQ has 107 core talents and it increased by seven last month. So five PhDs and two masters uh, got recruited to IONQ. So here are the list of people who are the newcomers of IONQ. And these two are from uh, December. And the people in highlighted as yellow is uh, just joined IONQ this January. And you can see that there are two people that came from Honeywell, which is now currently called as Continuum. And those people, first to start off, the David Kempagna. He worked in Continuum and Honeywell for more than, say, um, six years. And Nathan, he worked in Continuum for about one and a half year. So there's a reason why those people from other uh, com uh, competitors of IonQ is coming to IonQ. And I believe that reason is that people working in the quantum field knows that IonQ is the best. And I see that because IonQ's people do not quit or go to other uh, companies that are in competition with IonQ. So I think that's one of the good uh, trends that we want to see. And we also see many people who got hired working for IonQ as staff, technical program manager, R&D physicist, senior engineer, quantum robotics engineer, staff optical engineer senior optical engineer and senior manager of FPGA design. So we know that IonQ is expanding its business and no one is quitting, which is a good sign for the uh, investors. And the second news is trapped eons go the distance is related to a uh, experiment that was done on the trapped eons. So this news was published on February 2nd and researchers have achieved long distance, which is more than 200 meters away entanglement between two calcium ions which of which lies in a different building so it shows that trapped ions could be used to create quantum networks which means bigger scale of quantum computing this is very promising and very important because uh, trapped ions has known for its critical weakness as uh, of the scalability so even though they have long coherence times which means the qubits have longer uh, quantum states and they have potential for multi-qubit operations, which is related to the ion trap's full connectivity. But people or the researchers said that trapped ion qubits will not be able to uh, achieve qubits entanglement over long distances. But we definitely know that this experiment was successful. So this experiment was led by a team of Austria, Institute for Quantum Optics and Quantum Information, and also with the University of Innsbruck. So they solved this problem by entangling two trapped ion qubits residing in different buildings, which is 230 meters away. So they transmitted the photon from one ion through 210 meters of optical fiber to other ion to transfer or do the operations uh, together. So it's a very significant experiment related to trapped ions. And in, in case you don't know, IonQ performed a similar experiment about 12 years ago. So here in the IonQ's history map, we see that in the year of 2011, Kim 
and Monroe invented photonically networked modular quantum computer, which was experiment with Duke and UMD. And I looked over this experiment and IonQ already demonstrated a similar experiment on 2011 by these two professors, which are uh, co-founders of IonQ. So they had a paper called Modular Universal Scalable Ion Trap Quantum Computer. So for its paper's abstract, it describes a scalable architecture for general purpose quantum computation based on trapped ions. And we all know that IonQ will be using photonic interconnect network, which is using optical fibers and optical switch to connect all those modular chips. So they uh, consisted of a unit called ELUs, which is elementary logical units, which containing few physical qubits. And these were provided with optical communication port. And the quantum entanglement is distributed between an arbitrary pair of ELUs through a reconfigurable photonic network. And they were able to perform two qubit quantum logic operation between any pair of physical qubits in the entire quantum computer. So I'm not sure how long distance they had for each chips or for each qubits, but they definitely have achieved the full connectivity between the distant qubits. Uh, so this shows that this architecture can support universal and fault tolerant quantum computation. So IonQ already shown similar and modular scaling is possible in 12 years ago, which is currently under commercialization, I'm pretty sure. And according to their tech technical roadmap, this will be applied on their quantum computer in the year of 2020. So IonQ already did it and those people of Eon Trap's latecomer, they are already showing the following results. So I see that trapped ions are getting momentum. So here's a um, picture related to it. So they have ELU which uh, represents a single modular chip and it's uh, connected to the optical switch via the optical fiber and they do the uh, quantum computation between any of these chips. So my thought is that IonQ has 188 employees registered in LinkedIn. So if we count those employees who do not use LinkedIn, they have already over 200 employees. So last year IonQ established IonQ Europe, which is located in Germany and Israel, and IonQ Canada, which was established by um, acquiring Entangle Networks, and I believe IonQ Asia will uh, soon be established. So IonQ is doing great, they're expanding their business, setting up their base uh, everywhere, and we know that Honeywell's people, we see that last month two people from Honeywell came to IonQ. But we know that IonQ's people is not going to Honeywell. And we could see why, because IonQ is the best. And Eon Trap approaches have critical weakness, which people refer to as scalability. Hard to uh, increase the qubit counts. So all the companies are doing the modular scaling by uh, connecting the modular chips, QPUs, by using the quantum networks. But this is getting resolved by distant entanglement and by IonQ's photonic interconnect. So Eon Trap's possibility of getting ahead and building huge quantum computer is getting bigger. So I believe in the Eon Trap's technology. And during January 2023, more than $1 billion were invested in quantum computing companies. This is by uh, commercial sectors and also by the government. Anyways, this means there was no quantum winter, which means the quantum companies were unable to get any investments for a long time. So more money flows into quantum computing industry. And as you all know, chat GPT uh, got a lot of attention. So AI is getting attention, which means quantum computing will get attention as well because the quantum computing will explosively uh, develop the AI by doing the quantum uh, machine learning. So I expect IonQ to reach its peak stock price, which was about $36, approximately in the late 2025, when QC facility is operating, with QC system sales occurring and with the uh, error correction applied. So in this time, the real quantum error or, and the quantum supremacy will be demonstrated. So we must know the IonQ's technical roadmap, right? So in 2025, IonQ is aiming for 64 AQ. And in the blue comment, we could see that the error correction is applied. And we know that for this year, IonQ's goal is to increase AQ from 25 to 29. So we have to monitor whether they reach this roadmap or not. And other roadmap, this was not really widely spread. So it was hard for me to find. So their phase one was to reduce the error within one chip and increase the qubit count within one chip and then error correction, which allows one chip to have more qubits and have a perfect 
project uh, Qubit Insight that will be applied on 2025. And in phase three, the final phase will be modular scaling. So we'll have uh, many modular chips and we'll connect them using the photonic interconnect. And this will be applied in 2027. So our major um, milestone is 2025 when error correction will be applied and 2027 when modular scaling uh, aka photo photonic interconnect is applied to IonQ's quantum computer. And the last thing, uh, briefly about my stock portfolio. So I've invested actually over 200k but um, I'm having about minus 40% in my assets so I'm only having 127k currently. So I have IonQ as 82% of my whole stock for portfolio and then I have Tesla, Nvidia, Google, QQQ and on semiconductor. So for IonQ I have 19,728 stocks which um, I basically have it around $9. I have sold it and rebought it. So my uh, current price is low but my actual price is like around $9 and I also have Tesla uh, which is showing minus 21% and NVIDIA which is close to uh, the price that I bought and for Google minus 15% QQQ minus 1% and on semiconductor I'm currently very interested in this company because it's developing silicon carbide and has a, a customer of Tesla and Apple so I expect this company to grow very fast in the future and this one I bought like three or four months ago and I'm profiting about 55% so this is quite amazing but I only bought like uh, $2,000 so I hope I bought it more in the previous times but anyways my whole portfolio is uh, showing about minus 40% and I expect it to get better in the future. So today we talked about three topics. So I increase employee counts of 2023 January and I do monthly monitoring about this. So please keep an eye on this and uh, trap the ones go the distance. So the distance entanglement performed by teams in Austria. And lastly, my stock portfolio. Hopefully uh, I'll get richer as the time goes by. So Eon Traps getting the momentum and I believe IonQ is doing great. So thank you everybody for listening to my video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and your comments. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.